from the city hardest hit by COVID-19. A warning the world is facing an even bigger crisis with the threat of climate change. And from New York, the UN Secretary General has made a dramatic plea to the global community. To put it simply, the state of the planet is broken. Dear friends, humanity is waging war on nature. This is suicidal. Nature always strikes back, and it is already doing so with growing force and fury. The UN's annual climate report read like a list of natural disasters. Record hurricanes in the Atlantic and Central America. Record wildfires and record temperatures. California alone saw the biggest fires in its history this summer and the hottest air temperature on the planet in a century, if not ever. And this year has seen higher temperatures the world over, on land, sea and especially the Arctic. The average global temperature this year is predicted to be around 1.2 degrees Celsius higher than pre-industrial levels, making the last decade the warmest on record, with all six of the warmest years occurring since 2015. And with temperatures expected to keep rising, the WMO warns without drastic action, the planet could warm by one and a half degrees by 2024. Jeffrey Sachs, who's advised three UN secretary generals, warned the world is facing a moment of reckoning. We're human beings, so uh, sometimes uh, we walk right into disaster. Sometimes when we're in disaster, we don't behave well. So there's no guarantee that anything's going to change except for the fact that we've just gone through the warmest 10 years in recorded history. We're setting records all the time. The disasters are all around us. The UN has made clear climate change is now at the heart of its global mission. As the world went into various states of lockdown, greenhouse gas emissions were temporarily reduced this year. But carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere are on the rise. And the UN is warning without action, the world faces disaster. Donald Trump pulled America out of the Paris Climate Accord. And President-elect Joe Biden has signaled he will reverse that move on the day he enters office. John Kerry has already been appointed as the Biden administration's climate envoy. The former Secretary of State already pledging failure is not an option. Wildfires have once again returned to Australia, along with record-breaking temperatures. The apocalyptic scenes of last year still raw. While there is no vaccine to fix the planet, 2020 has proven human beings are capable of drastic action in the face of a crisis. Sally Lockwood, Sky News, New York.